So basically, we're called the Vinipa Trust, and Vinipa was a, le- a woman who's all of our great great grandmother. And so Vinipa married Petaya, and our family is the Sa Petaya. And basically, we started thinking about, you know, do our family, is their nganganga good? Do they know what to do at funerals and weddings? Um, are our families financially literate? Know how to do a budget? Um, are our kids making the best of um, the education opportunities? And also around, for us, we looked at learner's license because we saw that lots of members of our family were driving without any licenses. So we've been a trust now for about two years. Our main, um, the main thing we did is we run a study hub. So it's a weekly study hub which offers support for NCA, level one, level two, level three, for literacy and numeracy at year nine and year 10 and national standards for little kids. So within our family, we have secondary school teachers, we have primary school teachers. So they come every Tuesday, rain or shine, and firstly the kids in our family, but also the kids in our community. For example, my son's 11, and last year he was above the national standards in everything except maths. And so on the Tuesday night with um, my niece, who's an intermediate teacher, that's what she's looked at. Totally numeracy and division. And I don't know if it's only that, but he's now above the national standard. So we really wanted to be able to show, you know, those, those movement. But essentially it was moving from a model of um, a kind of a consultancy model to a real model of, um, as a family, a few of us are educated, we've done well in um, our work, etc. And how can we put back into making sure our kids are all right and our, and our parents and also use the skills that we've got. So the study hub, for example, um, I've run for probably 25 years, but um, probably in the last 10, it's become quite organised. Everything we had done prior to that um, was totally voluntary. Um, in terms of paying for the venue of our church, which a large amount of our family come to, um, members of our family contributed. So when we saw the funding for Pacific Futures, for Whanau Ora, you know, the Lord's good, Angie, because essentially we looked at this criteria and looked at what we offered and what we wanted to offer. And it was quite a, it was, it was a good mix. It was kind of everything that we were, we were about.